I'm on just a little early. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be painting some skulls. How exciting is that? What's up, John? Yeah, man, you nothing for punishment at your brother. Uh, today we're going to be painting this uh, barrel topper. It's a bunch of skulls on kind of a, like a bed of coals or dirt or rocks or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I didn't trim too much of it off because I do kind of like the looks of the uh, latex hanging over the side of the barrel or whatever. I don't know. I just kind of enjoy that. I'll go through and cut some of it off and not all of it. So I'm getting labels made up. I got some little sampler packs of the, the perma blood. I think I'm gonna try to get rid of some of that to see what uh, people think about it. So. Let me get a drink real quick, then we'll start painting that sucker. <coughs> Alright, I'm back, let me get this real quick. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend leaving. Somebody had did that, and I can't remember, I've seen somebody talking about leaving their foam. Their can of foam in a car and it exploded. Yeah, basically ruined their freaking car, man. That would really, that would really freaking suck. And I don't remember where I saw that at. I know I've seen it somewhere.
So I got a couple spots on this latex I need to repair. I cut too much out of it. Which is no big deal, it's easy to do. Another hot day today. So I'm just going to repair this eye real quick because you can see the foam in it. And I don't want no foam in there. So you're putting latex on latex, so everything should be fine. Double check everything. I thought I had another spot here. Oh, where'd it go? Remember, I'm losing my mind. We'll just dry it up real quick. It wasn't a big spot, it was just a little little pinhole. I wanted to cover it up. This thing's uh good and firm. So what we're going to do is we're going to base this out in black first. Uh, so we'll base this whole thing out in black, then we'll go back in and fill in all our colors. So the customer wants more of a whitish skull um, and bonish looking and uh, ground to be kind of brownish color. So, but we're still going to base it all out in black. And then we'll come back in and do that because with this, these skulls the way they are, uh, it's going to be impossible to get them to look real close to if we just paint them all white then trying to put highlights in them it's going to be impossible to get them to look right so that being said we're going to paint all black and i got black somewhere i just had it it's right there all right I'll bring my I'll bring my uh, laptop over here so I can see you guys if you guys have a question or something. So I'm gonna have to run back and forth to see what, what's going on. I got you in kind of a different position today. So we'll do this without breaking something. Okay. Do it without tearing something up. Yeah, it's this foam field. It's, uh, I think I've welded this for about six or seven hours, then I foam filled it. It's all foam filled. This sits on top of a barrel. So I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful hot Friday. I think it's Friday. I'm pretty sure it's Friday.
So I was talking about uh, ruining our clothes. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Uh, I spilt I spilt paint, purple and uh, pinkish paint on my pants. So it looks like I peed some uh, purple. It'll probably never come out, but it'll be fine. Um. No, I don't really keep track of the, I feel the mold up. Then once I pour it out, I don't try to measure out to latex because your mold's gonna uh, absorb the moisture out of it. And the longer you leave it, the more, th the thicker it's gonna get. So if you, in order to do that, you would really have to time that really good. Um, but if you want a real nice thick, um, latex you want to leave it longer and like I said this one dwell for about six hours uh, I don't normally dwell it six hours but I got lazy and uh, dwell it six hours uh, a good if you if you something this size or any size like this about four hours you know three or four hours should be uh, sufficient in dwelling dwelling your stuff I guess it all depends on, you know, how thick you want your latex. Uh, you can brush it on if you want to. Now, I've brushed a few of these on. I'd put that about six six uh, layers when I brushed it. Um, it is kind of, it's time consuming doing it that way as versus uh, pouring, you know, nine, eight, nine gallon into the mold. And that's another thing. If you don't have, you know, 10 gallon of latex laying around, then of course you'll probably end up brushing it on. But uh, these are all, all poured in. So I guess I'm not going to be able to leave my laptop there because it is looking for service. And I'm going to move it back over here where it's just a little closer to the router, which isn't very close. But move that back over there. Let's see what happens. But I took, um, I'm getting labels made. I took some models and stuff down today to get labels made for everything for the, the blood. <clears throat> So hopefully that'll be done sometime next week. There we go. Yeah, we got it now. Okay, good. We got some service now too. Kind of what's going on. Then we'll start, uh, you know, really mixing up. Like I said, I got some sampler packs. I just did like little two ounce sampler packs. Um, somebody want to try it before they and then invest any kind of money into it and then they can see if they like it or not. But if you get it and for some reason you don't like it, uh, please let me know why you don't like it and uh, what more you're expecting out of that blood. That way I can still, I can still tinker on it. You know, I don't want to just say, hey, here's some blood and uh, try it. Oh, it sucks. Well, you shit out of luck. No, I want, I want to try to keep making stuff better and better. That's the whole point of, you know, doing this kind of stuff is making things better. You know, I think uh, pretty much when we do Halloween stuff, we start out small, simple, just to kind of get our, you know, our wings spread and figuring out what we're doing. <clears throat> then, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff is kind of intimidating. And I don't think it's intimidating as far as actually doing it. It's uh, the putting the cost into it is, is, is freaking expensive as, as all get out. So that's the kind of the problem that uh, people run into, I believe. So they're not intimidated by doing this, but I'm sure if you had unlimited money, you'd be like, yeah, man, let's try it. 
and that's that's kind of the sad part about all this stuff. I know people would do more and more. It's just trying to buy the material. And if you screw up, well, that's, that's a lot of money to screw up. That's like I did a video, I think about a year or so ago, and I made a half, half uh, lower body with the guts hanging out of it. And I freaking used uh, Ultra Cow, and I ran out of Ultra Cow, so I threw some, mix some uh, plaster of Paris in there. I was like, oh man, that'll mix in there good. Man, that stuff shattered like glass. And uh, I, sh I showed it on the video. It, it ruined the whole thing. So I sculpted that whole thing and um, uh, sculpted the thing and molded it, and it just shattered like my, no other, man. It, it really hurt my feelings. So it was expensive, but, you know, that's, that's part of learning and uh, getting better at your your craft so just keep experimenting don't give up uh, start out small if you have to uh, i don't do too much small stuff i mean i'll tinker on something small once in a while just to kind of break up the monotony because some of this stuff here takes forever so i know you guys ain't gonna sit here and um watch my latex dwell for six hours that'd, that'd be pretty freaking boring but i will do a video eventually on uh we'll set all the molds up and uh then we'll just start pouring our molds up to make uh different products and whatnot i've already got a i don't know three or four of these already made um and I can paint them pretty much any color. I can use black light paint. Uh, I got paint for that, for black light, if you wanted to, uh, to shine a little bit in the dark. I've got some of that. Uh, I did some blue ones. I think I did an orange one or something like that. I can't remember. What was that? MHC. Uh, Clark's Hangout was uh, having some kind of an auction thing for, I think, kids or something. I can't remember. My, my brain just doesn't retain a whole lot of info like that. But uh, they were doing some kind of auction, and uh, I donated one of these to there so they can uh, auction it off. I don't know how much it brought in. I really don't know. I sold it for uh, 300 bucks. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but it's a lot of work for this little thing here. And just about everything you do now is it's a lot of money. So what I'll do is I'll go over this, then uh, we'll come back and go over it again, <coughs> or go see what spots we missed, because uh, for some reason I always miss a freaking few spots on these. Now, if I did, you know, if I did a bunch of these, if I sold a bunch of these at one time, then I would uh, set up, I would go through and make a bunch of them, then I would spray them with a spray gun instead of brushing it all on. Just that spray gun and get in them spots a whole lot better than the brush. Make it quicker too.
But I like I like this uh, pile of skulls because uh, there's so many imperfections in it that um, whenever you do um, your uh, your faded washout or whatever in it, it really it really does it looks pretty freaking good. You know, it's not all smooth where you know a dry brush would not look good on a smooth surface, but on this kind of surface, it turns out pretty good. You guys hear me okay? Is uh, audio and uh, video okay? Sometimes I can't really tell. I guess if it's bad, y'all would tell me, right? Yeah, uh, the guy, <clears throat> the guy that did the, my Monster Misfits on my trailer, uh, same guy's gonna do my stickers. Um, he does a real good job, so. Are you guys uh, got anything for the plan for the weekend? You gonna be building props or just hanging out and uh, drink a drink a few or something? I don't drink well. I drink orange soda. I don't drink anything. Hey, Bernita. Let me guess, Berlina. You're on the dash. I'm on the dash, right?
<coughs> and if y'all see my computer, as you see it going in and out. <laughs> so probably next week, uh, it all depends on everything. Uh, hopefully I can get started on some zombies. Well, they're like, uh, more, they're more or less corpses, but uh, hopefully we get started on them. And, uh, of course, that's not going to be a day project. It's, it'll probably be a few days, you know, tinkering on them individually. Which ought to be pretty fun. Um, there's going to be some welding, cutting, and grinding, and stuff involved, so... Or I'm hoping so. I gotta, I gotta freaking uh, put a plug in for my welder. Uh, I forgot about that. It's no big deal. <clears throat> so if you have if you guys uh well i'm sure you don't know but Remember me talking about uh, my other channel? So I just threw a couple videos up there the other day just trying to get it going on. And it's called Thunder Creek Mafia. And uh, that's, that's my other channel that has really nothing to do with Halloween but everything to do with Halloween, sort of, kind of. So I'll do, um, uh, like, I uh, just uploaded a short video of my, I got a castle wall. So if you go up my driveway, I have a retaining wall. It's over my head. And uh, it's just, just a plain retaining wall. So I went a uh, year before, last, not last summer, but summer before last. And I started turning it all into a castle. You know, a castle wall. I got gargoyles on it and everything. And uh, hopefully... Uh, it all depends, but maybe sometime this winter, I will be out there tinkering on that thing again and uh, trying to finish it off. So I can get all my gargoyles up and all that stuff. Uh, that's a hard project. And uh, me and a buddy of mine did it in the uh, middle of the summer. And man, we about died because it's so freaking hot. If y'all like to check it out, just check out the uh, Thunder Creek Mafia. Like I said, I, it's just a new channel. It's nothing uh, major yet. Uh, probably never be major, but it's, it's just something that, uh, you know, that doesn't really pertain to making Halloween props, but it has a lot of stuff to do with, you know, Halloween. Uh, just it just in general because I'll be welding stuff. I'll be building stuff. I'll be fixing stuff and making stuff uh, But not so I can try to keep all my Halloween stuff on this channel here but that one's just a uh, I Have I do so much different stuff and I don't want to you know clog up This channel with a bunch of that stuff nobody wants to see that on this channel they want to see Halloween stuff so I want to try to reserve <clears throat> this for just a Halloween
Okay, there it is. There's our base coat. Or shake it off there too much. <clears throat> now, I ain't been to a football game in a long time, not no high school one anyway, or even a grade school one. So this uh, latex paint dries really quick, uh, even if you don't use uh, a 
heat gun on it. I'm just doing it just to settle for you guys to death. But I figured uh, I would do this but, and let you know that, you know, by putting a fan on it, it if, it's, if my fan was a little closer, it would uh, help drive it pretty quick. Now y'all can see the difference in uh, how how dark that has turned after you know going through this drying process a little bit. Let me go see if I got some brown. I think I got some brown somewhere. Brown, gray, and whatnot. We'll make our own. Let's see what we got here. So we got to mix some brown and some tans. Thank you. 
more bubbles. This is bubbles. Look, so we move those. Uh, let's see, put okay. So I'll mark on the bottles so I know how much to put in them. Uh, these are like six inch bottles. There are five and a half inch bottles. And I'll do, let's measure them out. Uh, get it out here. All right, yeah, this end over. So I'll just do an inch and a half. Then I'll do another inch and a half. So that'll give me one third water, one third paint, one third latex. And that also gives me enough room inside that bottle to uh, be able to shake it and uh, mix it. So that's kind of how I do that. gonna be a mess. Not too bad. Yeah, mess. And we'll take it down here and put some latex in it. Now if you find this mixture too, too thick for like an air gun, you can always add a little bit of water to it to thin it out a little bit more.
All right. Let me get a mess going here to clean up these bottles. Anytime you're dealing with latex, make sure you close it up. Y'all killing grass over there, are you? This should be here. I figured they've been them in here this well. It's kind of rained about every day. They'll probably be here next week to cut grass around here, hopefully. these up fairly good. So remember this paint is pretty thin so uh, you don't need a whole lot on your brush whenever you go to um, jar brush everything. I think a bug just bit me on the arm. So, most time, whenever you do this, you go through lights and you come into your, or go with your darks, then come into your lights. So that's kind of what we're going to do here. dark brown on there. I'm not going to put it on skulls, just uh, around the edge. It's going to be hard to kind of see uh, until we start doing our lighter colors, but I want to do uh, start with our darks, then go into our lights. Because he wants it to look kind of like uh, dirt. So uh, that's what we're going to try to go for.
my computer dog. Alright, what happened to your dog? There you are. And when you dry brush this stuff, it dries pretty pretty quick because you're not uh, globbing it on like you are trying to with the, the like you are with the black or anything. So it, it dries fairly quick. Okay. So I don't know if you all can see that or not, but that's kind of the um, the dark brown that we used. I so said we didn't want to go totally dark brown, but we wanted to put something on there. And uh, the, every color you put on there just makes it look a little better. Okay, so you kind of see how it's, you know, it's starting to pop a little bit. And uh, now we will uh, get a cup of water in it for sure.
So now we want these skulls. We want them white, but we want them bone color. So I think I already mixed one of those up yesterday. I thought I mixed a bone up yesterday. Orange, green, black, yellows. Yeah, I could have sworn I did a bone color yesterday. I probably lost it. Ah, it's good bugs. Yeah, it's a whitish color. A white color I did yesterday. Yeah. Um. The flesh color. So what do I do with that? Uh, you all remember what I did with that flesh color? Alright. I really have my shit together, can't you tell? I'm looking at it, I know I am. This is evading me at the moment. Okay. Anyway, I've got a flesh color somewhere. Well, we'll just mix another one. I got so much junk on this table that it is impossible to find anything. Anyway, we will we'll make another we'll make another one. Once I get that made, then the other one will pop up all of a sudden. Oh, you know what? I did not mix any of this yesterday. I, I used some, but I didn't mix it. Uh, because uh, I painted them them little babies with it, if you remember. But I didn't. I didn't mix up any. I just painted the babies.
Everything is a pigsty in here. So if you want to see how clean my tables are, So there's about 70 foot and it's all freaking pig style. Uh, don't hold it against me. Unless you want to. It's getting ready to be cleaned off here for too long because I need some space. Um, like I said, I've been trying to move. Um, I got another tractor and trailer load of stuff I need to bring over here. So everything's just been piling up on me. And uh, it's all a mess right now. Okay. What's up, Brother Cobwebs? Back to the gray. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of like a call. What's up, brother? Yes, it is a hoarder's house. Uh, it's pretty freaking nasty. Like I said, don't hold it against me. Or, or, or you can, whichever. All right, so we got this color. It's kind of a bone color. I didn't want uh, straight white, so I wanted kind of a bone color. And uh, what we'll do, once we do the bone color, we'll come in with some kind of yellow and uh, put a little bit of yellow on the bone as well, just in different spots. So it's not completely, you know, white or whatever. Good. Give it a little bit of life. Or that's what we're going to attempt to do. Then once we get the skulls done, uh, probably come back in this bottom section here and hit it with some uh, dark collars just to kind of, not the whole thing, but here, there, and yonder to kind of uh, accentuate that, that light uh, khaki collar. So it's going to look like it's white on this uh, black, but it is, it is not.
What's up, Ray? Um, this is uh, your barrel topper. Unless I really screw it up and you tell me you don't want it no more. <laughs> anyway, we'll give it to somebody else. Thanks, brother. Uh, we're just kind of getting started on. We only got a couple colors on it now. So we still got to get uh, uh, the skulls highlighted with the yellow. We got to get the, the ground still highlighted with another couple colors. Probably going to add a little bit of green into it just to kind of break it up a little bit. <clears throat> then um, I might go lighter with the this here with the rocks and the dirt and stuff, then I might go back in with some uh, dark brown and just kill that white a little bit. Or the, you know, the lighter color. I know you want it to look more like a uh, kind of bonish color. So we're gonna try to achieve it a little bit. So what I did raise, I painted the whole thing black. Uh, that way, be able to see the different contrast in the... Hey Zoe, come back in here, come on. Okay, you're just going out in the sun, Never mind. But uh, we paint everything black out where we can come in and you'll have some kind of highlights in your eyes and different stuff like that. So if we did it all in white, it would, I don't think it would look right. So right now, it all kind of looks like on the camera, it's all the same color, but uh, it is not. So what I'm going to do now, is since I'm in the lighter colors already, is I'll come back in and I'll highlight some of this yellow in them skulls. Now we're not going to do the whole complete skull, I don't think. Depends on how it looks. Uh, but we just want to touch, you know, some of the around the around the bottoms of the skulls. If I can pull it off, I don't know how bad it's going to look. And what that does is kind of, you know, uh, kill you know how your bones if you saw a corpse or something like that it's got like uh, most usually it all depends on the stages of decomp and how long your bones has been out in the sun and whatnot but uh, you know some of it ha does have uh, some of the bone does have yellow in it uh, it all depends stages of it, I guess.
Ok. I don't know how well y'all can see that through the camera. Looks pretty good actually. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back on these rocks and I'm gonna lighten these up a little more then we'll go back over it with some dark. So we're just going to lighten these up really good. That way they stand out a little bit more. Okay, now we'll come back in with some dark and we'll highlight that and uh, we'll take that brown down a little bit. Actually, let me do some green first. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do dark green. Or it's yet ugly green. Let me do this ugly earthy green. And uh, we'll put our brown over top of that so we can kill this brown or green if we need to. Because we're trying to get uh, the dirt and stuff kind of earthy, uh, it's kind of the goal. So we're just going to put a little bit of green here down yonder. Not a whole lot, just a uh, highlight here, there, and yonder. Okay, so now we'll go back over that with a little bit of brown, dark brown, and uh, so we can kind of blend all that together where it's, it's kind of earthy, but it doesn't, uh, everything still kind of shows up, but not like hardcore.
Now, Ray, if you get this and you don't like the color, uh, you can always mix your own color. Uh, just get you uh, like a gallon of uh, latex or something like that. You probably already got it. And what, uh, some water and uh, uh, some paint, and uh, you, you can go to town and make your own stuff, man. If, uh, I'm not the greatest painter in the world, but uh, if you get it and you don't like the color, then it's the same way to go anything that you guys get. If you get something and you want to repaint it, by all means, go for it, man. Uh, make it yours. And, uh, make a happy little mistake. All right, that keeps popping off there. So I think what I'm going to do now is take some uh, take some white and give it, give these skulls a little bit more oomph than what it is because I want them to, I want them to stick out a little bit more than what they are. I'm not going to do a whole bunch, but we're going to. Just a little bit. So what I'll do is if I got too much paint on my brush is I'll come back and wipe it off as much as possible. And I'm trying to get rid of these brush strokes inside here. So then I'll just start blending those so uh, we can get rid of them strokes and it's not so bad. You don't want them brush strokes in there. When it all just kind of blend if possible. 
Now I know it's latex and it's rough, so it makes it a little harder to uh, uh, blend different things. I'm gonna try a little bit of dark green in this bottom part. Uh, it is, what did I say it is? Yeah, it's uh, 24 inches. Couldn't remember. It'll, it'll fit on top of a, a 55 gallon drum. Um, what do you think, Ray? Uh, let me know what you think of that. If it's good to go, then we'll let that bad boy uh, dry out and go from there. Should be ready to ship before too long. Especially before Halloween. You need it before Halloween. Or something else you want me to do to it, let me know. Uh, like I said, I'm not that great greatest of a painter. I like making stuff. I just I just suck at painting and everything else. Down on that one. Ugh. All right, let me back up a second here. Yeah. Ooh, hot dog. Yes, in case you guys don't know, I do have a severe bad back. I probably should take some kind of medication for it, but I don't. Because I'm too stubborn and I don't like medication. There's that. I don't know if I can get it close enough so you can see it or not, Ray. I try to make this bottom part as earthy as possible. But I try to mix it where it's not gonna kill the skulls. Uh, like like uh, this skull here. It has uh, three collars and it has, um, it's got, uh, this is like an off-white, like a bone collar. Then it has a little bit of yellow in it. Then we went back and put a little bit of whites in there to kind of blend that yellow in with the, the skull. Um, I used to go to a chiropractor, but uh, it never did really help me. I mean, it felt good for um, maybe a day, then my back just 
I don't know what it is. I don't know. I, I broke my upper back and I broke my tailbone. So it used to be my upper back would be freaking make my head hurt. And I'm the kind of person never gets a headache, but that did. That meant it was crippling headaches. Then that's how I found out my upper back was broke. Then I found out at the same time my tailbone was broken, I got arthritis in my hips. So yeah, I'm an old man, tore up. I'm still trying to make her do. Still trying to do it. Yeah, medications, man, isn't my thing. It's never been my thing, uh, especially like in them pain pills. If I take a daggone pain pill, I'll just, it makes me sick as a freaking dog. I do not like them whatsoever. Turn to let her dry out a little bit. So Ray, I left, I left all this splashing on there for you. So when you put it on the barrel, it will, uh, it'll just fall over the barrel. Look kind of creepy. So I figured that would probably look cool. Then just cutting it off and making it pretty. I thought making some old nasty, nasty flashing on it for the book, and it'll be hanging over the barrel or whatever you want to hang it over or you can just lay it on the ground like that uh, whatever your plan is Ray's got a secret plan well let me see what, color, what else colors we need to do yeah I, I left it on there uh, I think it looks cool but uh, if you don't want it you can always take scissors and Snip it in the bud. It'll go off there. All right, let me uh, uh, stuff.
do not know what I'm doing. Really. All right, I thought I had, well, I know I have it. I just, it's in the mess of this, these tables. But uh, if you guys want to uh, make your stuff shiny, uh, you can get this stuff called wet. And I, don't, I can't remember who play, who sells it. Cobwebs, if you're on, you know who sells that. Uh, but you can get that stuff called wet and put on there. If you don't want to go that route, you can use... I use like a matte clear, uh, but with this stuff here, I do not spray it on real heavy. I just put a couple light coats on it and leave it. Don't don't spray it on heavy, because that will eventually start cracking. So you want to put that on lightly if you do. Uh, with this bed latex paint, you shouldn't have no problem with it coming off though, if you're out in the rain. Let's hope you're not in the rain like I always was. Uh, oh, thanks, Ray. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, okay. Um, so they're trying to read everything. Let me see if I can move it up. Down a little bit there. Yeah, that's probably about as good as it's gonna get. I don't know if that's any better for you guys to see. Okay, good. Yeah, that's uh. So what we did is we just uh, made it kind of dirty at the bottom, like kind of dirt pile. And if you put this on the ground, you can always get some dirt and uh, throw it up on top of it and then put it in around the, the skulls or whatever you want to do. That's an idea that you can do. Uh, you don't have to put them on top of a barrel. I just made it for a top of barrel. I thought it was a cool, cool thing to do. But you can, I guess you can have a hundred different ideas for it. There it is. Ray, I gotta I gotta make some more some more props and I gotta finish your other uh, cross prop and everything. As soon as I get that done, I'll send it out to you. And uh, it's only gonna be I don't know, two thousand three hundred and seventy three dollars if that's okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so normally I sell these for three hundred bucks. Um, I think it's a fair deal. It does have a lot of foam in them, and uh, that foam is not cheap. And uh, I'll show you something else I bought yesterday, and uh, or I bought the other day. This here. So this is. Uh, oops. So this here is uh, foam at five. So this here is foam at five and uh, it's a rigid foam. And I got it from the engineer guy in Atlanta, Georgia. After shipping everything, it was 180 some dollars. Uh, I probably got the shipping info right here. Uh, it was, uh, it's too much money. Uh, so from now on, I'll be buying my stuff from uh, somebody else. It's just too it's too much money and you can't uh, you can't make an affordable prop and sell it uh, for that it's no way okay well it's not they don't have the price on here anyway it was a hundred and eighty some dollars for for this now you can make a lot of uh, different 
Um, I mean, you can make a lot of skulls out of it, but it's just it's just too much money, in my opinion. So this is the Fumit Five Rigid Foam. That's what I was talking about the other day. We won't uh, we won't uh, be <laughs> buying it from this company anymore. It's just it's not. Uh, you can't make no money off of it. You end up losing money every time you, you make a prop and you try to sell it for a decent price, you'll, you'll lose money. So shop around wherever you, you buy different stuff. Uh, brick in the yard or bidding mold supply. I think you can get this same exact ordeal, but it's going to be a six pound uh, for like a 94 bucks. So 94 bucks plus shipping, you're looking at probably 100 and, 120, 120 bucks. Something like that. Tax is 125 maybe. So you're gonna save, you know, 50 bucks by buying through them. Just throw that out there so y'all know. Now granted, I did get that the next day. So that's one thing. If I'm in a pinch or something like that, then of course I'll I'll order from uh, Atlanta, Georgia, because I got it the next day and it didn't cost me any more money. It was pretty quick shipping. Yeah, Ray, I think our price to you at 300 and the cross was 70 or something. I can't remember exactly. I'd have to go look through our messages and see and because uh, I don't want to rip you off. But... Uh, I'm going to hook you up anyway, and uh, I'm going to send you a couple other things on top of this to help you out with your hunt, because uh, I know you you put something out every, every year for the youngins. So it's already going to take a big box, so we might as well fill that big box up, right? Well, there you go, guys. Uh, let me pop you up here real quick so you can see Muggly Mug. I don't know what time it is, but we've been on here almost two hours. Anyway, guys, there's a little painting tutorial on, you know, I showed you how to mix paint, everything. So you got two for one. You show, I showed you how to uh, mix the paints and apply the paints. And uh, I don't think you'll have a problem. If I can do it, I know you guys can do it because I'm, I'm stupid. But there's the, our barrel topper. Like I said, I can make these in any colors. And I do use... Uh, I do use, I, I do have a black light colors that I put on these. Uh, this isn't black light, although that white might shine up in the black light. But it is heavy. It, I'm going to say this thing is probably a good, a good 20, 25 pounds. So it is heavy. Uh, if you do use it on a barrel outside, I don't think you have to worry about it blowing away. So that, that's good about that. And uh, if you want the flashing left on it, I'll leave the flashing on it if there's any, and I'll take it off or whatever. So on this one here, I was trying something a little different to try to save like on a, a freaking uh, a cup of foam, which is stupid to even think that like we did on the uh, pumpkin. So in the future, this hole won't be here. It'll be all... It'll all be filled up, and I, I think I explained to you guys the other day, in all possibility, uh, if my mold allows it, we will use uh, this when we start foaming it to the top. Then we'll put this on top, and that'll give us a nice flat finish on top. So, Because um, there's no sense of saving a cup of foam or whatever to then spend a lot of time going back in and trying to carve the foam out and make it look good. Just, it just, it's just a pain in the butt. So the extra cup of foam, it's well worth it. The, the headache. But anyway, guys, we appreciate you watching and, uh, Hey, let's do it again tomorrow. If you want, we'll come back on tomorrow and, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll screw something up. I'm, I'm good at that. So anyway, guys, you guys have a beautiful weekend and a good Friday. Be safe out there. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Keep it creepy.